people who want to get their children into theater and feel like they do have some talent, I think the, the best thing is really to probably get them into a program, to get some training, to be with other kids, um, so they also see a little bit of the playing field as well. I think some of the pitfalls are when parents want to start taking their children on auditions right away. Um, they haven't really prepared their child that they might not get something. Uh, right away and also when they're starting to work with agents you know they expect the agent to call every day and that it's not always like that and so I think that children you know don't necessarily know where the pitfalls are and I think you know parents have to prepare them a little bit. I would say first off the number one lesson is you they work for you so at no point will you have to pay an agent or a manager, so they need to be very aware of that. I think there's a lot of parents out there who aren't aware of that, and that's sort of where the scam artists come. They're like, oh, you need to give me this amount of money so I can get your kid going or whatever, and that's just never the case. I mean, you know, you have to do your research. Make sure you're part of a reputable company that does this. Well, I would say to always encourage them to do what it is that they love. I, knew, I know for me, when I was even at age, I don't know, eight, my parents, encouraged me to do it. I mean, at first I was really, really shy and I didn't want to when I started loving it. They just always supported me and encouraged me and therefore I wanted to do it more. I felt like I had confidence in it and then I started loving it. And, and for them, you know, don't force them to do it if they don't want to, only if the passion and the love for it is still there. I mean, I have a child, a student of ours, who's in many, many movies with many superstars. And I think that helps because she's still around children her age um, she can still have fun and not feel like it's so serious and I think that keeping her grounded and keeping her a part of things where you know not everybody is the best or you know it's for fun also really grounds them and I think probably do better at auditions because they're not so worried and they don't feel this intensity about it. Well, I think the bottom line is doing it for the right reasons. Never doing it for the fame or what you think you're gonna get from it as opposed to just the genuine happy feeling that you get from doing it. If you, like for me, I continue to do this. It's really tough sometimes, but if I didn't have the drive and I didn't have the want, it would be so much tougher. And so I think for, for people as you get older, let's say you were famous and you became like a child star when you were younger, you know, as you, if you still love it, then I would say continue with it because you're gonna grow as an actress and you're gonna change and then you're gonna become a different kind of actor, not the same one that you were as a child. So, I mean, when you're young, it's just completely different and it might be based on your look or it might be, but if you still love it, then they say continue with it. Mm -hmm.